Good morning. Welcome to my home again. Sorry about the view, but uh, can't have everything, can you? So, um, this morning we'll be using that a little bit later again. So you just caught me doing my morning exercises, and I always use my. I got a hole in one at home, and I always use that because that's a great way of getting me going in the morning. So once I've loosened up a little bit, now I've got three questions I want to deal with today and we're going to go from a question about addressing the ball to a question about how to start the backswing and to a question about pushing with the feet so we're actually going to start here with uh, uh, with the first question which is from Adam Freeman in New Zealand now Adam is a little bit unusual for us because he's only 31 years old he got down to five handicap as a junior but then uh, it seems like it was possibly in his early 20s he got fed up with the game he'd put himself under too much pressure uh, the bad shots were getting to him and he, he just gave up came back to it in his mid-twenties then discovered my book and videos and likes lad to golf and he, what's helping him enjoy his golf now is the positive attitude let go of the bad shots and uh, keep yourself in a positive mindset so so thank you Adam uh, and your question is my question stroke observation is this I've watched a lot of clips on YouTube of you doing a dance to golf and then hitting balls and it seems like after you address the ball your hands seem to start the movement maybe by pressing slightly forward then coming back with the whole body sinking up and the dance to golf movement progressing from there is this an accurate observation or am I just overthinking it? Can you give any advice for addressing the ball and beginning the movement? So, uh, yes Adam, I can. So, you also know in my book that I talked about tension being the golfer's num num number one enemy. So, uh, the essence of the easiest swing is relaxation and movement. So, I would suggest that being relaxed and moving in your address so I wouldn't worry too much about ball position and a lot all those sort of things everybody's worrying so much about those and you see these people on the golf course trying to line themselves up as if they're doing it by numbers so no I think you know what you're doing you know where you're going keep an eye on externally focusing on what it is you're looking to do but keep moving so um, and it's much easier to start your backswing from something where you're moving than starting your backswing from a very s rigid static position that's also tense. So um, I would like you to imagine that we have a motor in ourselves, a motor in my body that's already moving, it's ticking over, and then when the moment is right, I just start. And because I've been doing lots of ladans de golf, I'm primed to move, so I don't really have to focus on which part of my body does it. So, um, so my motor's moving, and then in English we would say we slip the clutch. That's on a, a manual gearbox in a car. So, um, I don't know how you say that in, in other parts of the world and in America, but that means that you engage the clutch, which actually connects the motor with the wheels, and then, then you're off. So, I do a forward press because I think it was just something that everybody did when I first started playing golf in the 60s it's like oh yeah the forward press is an integral part of the game I saw everybody doing it so I especially the good players so I copied um, and there have been times in my life when I've tried not to do it because why do you want to take care and getting set up and then change everything but nowadays now I, I since I started moving my feet uh, I haven't really ever thought about my backswing and uh, what starts it what I would like to tell you about though is um, let me just read the second question first because that's, uh, that's that maybe will give us another little bit of a clue and this one's from Ross Reinhold uh, from Mount Horeb in Wisconsin USA who also did a web page about me apparently and positive impact golf and his question is in the turning to begin the swing whether it is in practicing la dance or with an actual club what part of the body starts to swing is it the shoulders, the hips, the knees, the feet? I realise everything is moving together, yet there seems to be a subtle difference if, 
in my mind I start the turn at different levels from the feet to the shoulders so it's interesting isn't it because if you looked at a car driving down the road you wouldn't know it was a front wheel drive or a rear wheel drive so you wouldn't really know what was instigating the mu movement you'd just see a car the entire car moving up the road so um, I think in a golf swing it's the same thing you see everything moving together and what instigates that movement well I think it's a personal thing but uh, just a couple of things to, to tell you about one would be Wild Bill Melhorn who was a very famous American golfer maybe 75 years ago something like that um, excellent player and apparently one of the best but at the same time <coughs> a highly revered coach and he said that when your feet move your arms know where to go now it's a very simple concept because when you think about it if I'm static and I'm trying to get into a, a place from where I can hit the ball whereas when my feet move all of that takes care of itself so uh, for me if there is one part of my body and I often ask the question if there was if you could consider one part of your body to be the motor of the golf swing what would it be and people go for all sorts of things and very rarely do they actually say the feet but I would say that the feet because when my feet move all sorts of things happen my body will respond as long as I'm not fixing parts of it but we know in easy swing we don't do that so my feet can can be the instigator but they're not moving out of sync with any other part of my body um, the uh, the other thing about la danse du golf and please you can't do this too much you do this so much that when you get a golf club in your hand on the golf course you just prime to do the right thing and um, so you can actually feel lots of things in your feet but most of us are up here thinking internally about all the things that we've got to do to make this golf swing work and hit a good golf shot whereas I would say that in, if I move my feet and I just put my mind in my feet I'm feeling, I'm aware of my feet well what can I feel? I can feel my balance I can feel my weight shift I can feel my rhythm so uh, I can help control that difference between going back and coming down because if I do that like that it's all too fast so a lot of good things can happen from my feet Chat Nicholas also said the same thing he felt that the golf swing starts from the ground up and footwork and as we know his heel came miles off the ground for him footwork was absolutely uh, vital now um, to, to Ross's question then uh, I think you can be left to individually make up your mind as to what the trigger is but I've always wor worried about a trigger because if we've got a trigger surely we need the trigger to make the trigger work so how many triggers are you going to end up with? so uh, again, we're looking to render what could be very complex and complicated in the easiest swing and we're simplifying it so yes overthinking Adam absolutely 100% don't overthink things you don't overthink throwing a, a ball or throwing a piece of paper in a dustbin we do we don't think about how we're how we're going to manage the different parts of the body in running upstairs if we did we probably would never get there so um, okay the last question and this is about pushing the feet and this is from Jack Harris from Troy in New York when do your feet push so very simple question and apparently he's done research on measuring ground forces so we talk about using the ground but in this modern way it's all very very complicated with stresses and tensions that are going to hurt your body so um, to me uh, let me just tell you a little story I was coaching a couple in France many years ago um, and two couples actually for a weekend and I've been through the introduction which is where I sit and talk to them and find out about them um, and then we got out of the range and I started watching them set them all on learning and appreciating and getting some awareness of land to golf because they had been taught head still and arms straight and, and then I was looking at spending a bit of time with each one of them individually and suddenly I looked around and I saw one of the husbands was this wasn't flowing anymore and, and I thought oh there's something wrong there and he immediately looked at me and said oh Brian I've got a question so I looked across he said um, 
at what moment in the backswing does my heel come off the ground and at what time in the downswing does my heel come back on the ground and so I thought well, this is getting a bit complicated so I said oh could you just do that to golf for me and oh I've forgotten one or two questions I didn't ask earlier on um, so I asked, asked him a couple of questions, have you got family and children and you've got a boy and a girl and what do they do, do they play? And all of a sudden I, then I said, and are you thinking about your feet now and when your heel comes? And, and, he, and he burst out laughing and he realised that he'd just started over complicating it. And in some ways we're trained in the modern world to ask questions as if, if we don't know the answer then how can we possibly perform the task? Far too complicated. So to me, I feel in my feet, but pushing? No, to me it's just something that's a natural part of movement. I wouldn't throw something without going like that. But I don't think about it. I don't think when am I going to push. I don't really like the idea of pushing in actual fact, because if I get down here and I push with my feet, the chances are I've got my feet and legs going, but my club's lagging behind, and then I haven't got the coordination that I need to actually get in there and strike that ball well. So. So, being relaxed, being in movement, so I'm now prepared. I'm looking at the shot, yeah, and I'm away. Let's, folks, let's keep this as simple as we can. The art of relaxed movement is what we're all about. So, forward press or not a forward press, I'll leave that up to you. The important thing is that the overall swing is, is, uh, is in accordance with the basic philosophy of easier swing. It is not a method, you don't have to do exactly what Brian Sparks does, but you have to benefit from all those basics, all those lovely simple things. I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry about some of the traffic. We're supposed to be in lockdown in England, but it looks like some people are out and about. So um, thanks for spending a few moments with me on this lovely sunny morning and look forward to seeing you next time.